Our next story is about an artificial sun, a man-made sun. China wants to make it. They've set up a company for it, a state-owned consortium that will create an artificial sun. But why does China need it? Because it is a power-hungry country in both senses of the term, it needs an unlimited energy source to fuel its expansion, and it wants to be a tech superpower leading the race to develop clean energy. And this race is very much on. The world is chasing nuclear power, nuclear fusion, as a source of energy. Countries have been trying to achieve this for years. Is this a contest that Xi Jinping can win? Here's a report. Nuclear fusion. It's the holy grail of nuclear energy. An idealistic technology that can be used to generate unlimited clean power. There will be no dangerous waste products, no cancer-causing fuels. The human race will be able to stop using coal oil and gas and apparently live happily ever after. Of course, there's one small problem. No one has been able to achieve sustained safe nuclear fusion yet. Humans have achieved fusion, of course, but the unsustained kind, known colloquially as thermonuclear hydrogen bombs. But if brought under control, that same energy can be harnessed for all our electricity needs. Scientists from all over the world have been working to achieve controlled nuclear fusion for decades. You have big international collaborative efforts towards this like the 35-nation ITER project based in France. The US, the UK, EU, Russia, India, China, Japan and a few others are working together on this project. They want to unlock the power of nuclear fusion at a facility in southern France and then share this clean, unlimited nuclear power with the whole world. But even though so many countries are collaborating on this, it doesn't mean they aren't trying to figure it out on their own as well. The US, the UK and Japan all have advanced nuclear fusion projects of their own. But one of the most advanced players is China. For decades it has been trying to race ahead with nuclear fusion technology. And it took another step towards that last week. On December 29th, while most of the world was preparing to usher in the new year, China unveiled a new company. China Fusion Energy Inc. It's a consortium of about 25 state-owned companies and research institutes. It is headed by the China National Nuclear Corporation. A fund has also been set up to finance fusion experiments. Why this sudden consolidation? Is Beijing getting close to creating the coveted artificial sun? We can't be sure yet, but here's what we know so far. The Chinese have been working to achieve fusion for years through something called magnetic confinement technology. What's that? Unstable hydrogen is run through a donut-shaped reactor. Magnets compress it at high temperatures. The hydrogen then fuses into helium and generates energy in the process. It's actually how stars like the sun work, which is why fusion reactors are sometimes called artificial suns. The magnetic fusion is the same method being tested at the International ITER site in France. But so far, it's still in the experimental phase. No one has been able to sustain fusion for a long period of time. And that's the critical part. When enough fusion energy is generated, it will become self-sustaining. And that is when it can truly be considered an unlimited power source, a real artificial sun. Humans are still supposed to be a decade away from achieving this. But China is on the move now. It has designated nuclear fusion to be a national priority. Has Beijing discovered some secret it is keeping from the rest of the world? It would be on brand for China. So other countries should take note, especially if they don't want to get left in the dark. <laughs>